Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and in a place that most of you are not likely to have come to. In fact, many of you may not even have heard too much about it. It is Agartala, the capital of Tripura, a state of not even 40 lakh people. And my guest today, a really unusual personality for many reasons, but two outstanding reasons. One, he is the most successful chief minister in India, now in his fourth term and 18th year, uh, most successful in a very long time. And second, for the left in India, Mr. Manik Sarkar, you are the last man standing. <laughs> Welcome to Walk the Talk. Thank you. So, uh, are you aware of this distinction that you have, which may not be the most sort of flattering distinction that Indian left has only one man standing, one chief minister standing? That is correct. Uh, but I am hopeful that in the coming days I shall uh, going to get my colleagues. <laughs> yes. Some other states will also join with me. Uh, at this moment, yes, uh, this is the only left led state. But, sir, uh, <coughs> if you look at West Bengal and look at Tripura, there isn't that much difference because you know, with population based demographics, uh, although there is a tribal population in Tripura, but large majority is still Bengali. Uh, how come the left is so successful in Tripura, but not quite so in West Bengal now? With regard to? Not, not so successful in West Bengal now, but it continues to be the, totally the dominant force here, no competition. No, no, you see, uh, in West Bengal in the last uh, assembly election, uh, the left lost. Right. There are reasons. Uh, every state has its own specific characteristics. So, at that point of time, the national level reactionary forces and from within the West Bengal, the uh, non-left uh, uh, political parties, they uh, club together, create a lot of problems there. Uh, because of all these things, uh, actually, uh, some confusion created among the minds of the people and they were there for 34 years. So, uh, the state government could not fulfill all the aspirations of the common people of West Bengal. This is quite likely. Uh, so, because of all these things, uh, they lost. Uh, but here in Tripura, what we have been trying our level best, uh, first uh, we uh, are trying to maintain the unity between tribals and non-tribals. There was a particular incident when a big massacre took place yeah. of Bengalis, almost on the eve of an election. Yeah. Uh, what happened? And that and that did that massacre turn the election? Yeah, that created a lot of problem, particularly that confused the urban uh, uh, Bengali people. Because it was a massacre of Bengalis. Yeah, yeah. That was a calculated thing. Calculated. That was calculated thing. You see, just on the eve of uh, six or seven days early of the election. 93 Bengali people were right. killed, right. old women, children, so all these things created a lot of problems. But was it part of what you just called the conspiracy? Yeah, that was a part of co conspiracy, no and, doubt about and, it. And who carried it out, the co conspiracy? <laughs> Enough time has passed now, sir. Ah, you see, at that time, I should say, these, the Raj Bhavan was also involved at that time. And Mr. Santosh Mohandev was there. Right. Ah. And on the eve of this election, no less than 8 to 10 union ministers, they were campaigning in the state guest house, that is called circuit house. Actually, they even, they even, uh, uh, what should I say, uh, controlled the election commission here in Tripura. So, there was that history of massacres, uh, two sides to it. One, tribals feeling that they had become a minority in their own state because Bengalis had come from all over, but mainly from East, East, East Bengal after partition. Uh, and second, Bengalis, or, uh, tribals organizing themselves in armed groups and then carrying out these massacres against Bengalis to drive them away. How did you repair that situation? Because that's where your success lies. Yes, correct, correct. From our side, particularly. Sir, I'm a critic of the left. I, I've argued with <laughs> the left for a long time, including <laughs> in 10 years of UPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I speak to you, speak with you in admiration. You see, our party, Communist Party of India, Marxist, 
Right from the beginning, we have been trying our level best to maintain unity between tribals and non-tribals. Dasharad Dev, uh, he belongs to tribal community, yes. but uh, it was actually called by the tribal people that he is our uh, crownless king. Right. Yeah. So, right from the beginning, we have tried our level best to make them understand that... Uh, he had he, a very unfortunate death. Uh, unfortunate way. Uh, I think he had a hypoglycemia. Uh, no, the, all these things were there. All these things were there. Yes. Uh, he was suffering. He was suffering. 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 So, the unity shall have to be maintained. That is what our uh, appeal. Right. In Tripura, tribal uh, cannot uh, survive without the help and cooperation of the Bengali. But Bengali cannot survive without the help and cooperation of the Tribal. Sir, I can understand tribals needing Bengalis because they are such a ma majority and all the elites, uh, government officers, doctors, journalists, are mostly Bengali. But why should tribals be so important for the Bengali survival? Now, because actually you see what I have told you, na, Tripura was a uh, tribal dominated state. Right. They were majority right. because of influx of uh, non-tribal uh, uh, Hindu Bengalis. Right they have been converted to minority. Right. Thereby, the demography of the state has been changed. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 it is a quality, qualitative di uh, uh, difference. So, in this situation, if you fail to maintain the unity between both tribal and right. non-tribal, right. then how... Uh, then even Bengalis will not be happy. Yeah, exactly. Then how the state will actually go forward, uh, keeping that in mind, to develop the democratic unity between both tribal and non-tribal, Right from the beginning, we have been trying our level best to maintain this unity. But on the other hand, contrary to that, Congress party here in Tripura, they actually survived by creating this Divisions. division, uh, both between tribal and non-tribal. So, sir, when I said that you are a remar remarkable person for two reasons, uh, I deliberately held back the third one because I knew the conversation will shift immediately to that. So, one reason was that you are the last leftist standing in power in India, although there is one more exception, I think the mayor of Shimla, strangely, is from your party. Uh, uh, number two, that you are a fourth term chief minister and so popular. But third is that you are one chief minister in the Northeast who has on his own withdrawn armed forces special powers act. Okay. So how do you gather the courage to do that and why do you do it? I mean, uh, you are going against the uh, current stream of thought? Because you see, situation uh, has been improved. Situation has been improved. That's why you have take, we have taken this decision. But all on a sudden, we have not withdrawn it. Right. Because this uh, APSA was introduced in the year 1997. 97. At that time, Dasharadde was the chief minister. Because uh, uh, government of Tripura uh, uh, sought help from the central government, uh, asked for army. Because without army, at that point of time, the problem of uh, uh, extremist uh, activities was not in a position to be tackled. Because your groups were getting mixed up with groups from neighboring states at that point. There was a lot of, uh, some, this, some of these uh, coalitions had started coming up, Naga, Sripuris. They were helping. They were, they they were, helping. They were helping. Behind them, ISI was there. Absolutely. Uh, ISI was there. And they were using the soil of Bangladesh at that right. point of time. So. <coughs> Our uh, state police strength was very, very limited, very, very limited. And they used to use 3 not 3 Sir, I remember I, when I used to come to see Mr. Nipin Chakravarti, his guard outside had a 3 not 3 mm -hmm. which I don't think had been cleaned for 50 years. I do not know. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I it was full know. of rust. <laughs> so I thought if he fires it, somebody yeah, it will yeah. harm him. So, these extremists, they were possessing most sophisticated arms. Right. But the state police, numerically, the strength was very, very limited. Right. And uh, firepower that was also very very limited. At that point of time, there was no other option but to go to the government of India and ask for the army. Army. At that time, they insisted the army cannot actually operate until and unless AFSA is introduced. Right. So there was no other option. We uh, right. the uh, the Sharadev government was forced to right. in, uh, actually uh, claim this uh, AFSA. So anyhow. At that time, you see, more than half of the state was 
covered by AFSA, this uh, Disturbed Area Act. At that time, our uh, number of our police station was actually only 40. 40. Right. Now, of course, it is uh, 74. We have increased this number. So, uh, then uh, gradually, what we have done, we first, uh, we have tried our level best to uh, rouse the people of our state, both tribal and non-tribal, against these extremist activities. Peace is the most important thing. Uh, without peace, there cannot be developmental activities. These are very much interlinked. Uh, for development, there is peace. The peace is needed. For peace, development is very, very essential, interlinked. So, we have been able to make our people aware and conscious that, yes, the extremists are actually creating a lot of problems, particularly among the tribals, actually. Right. We tried our level best to make them understand because these extremist outfits, they have been formed and misleading the tribal youth. Uh, in sir, particular. Sir, I believe the Prime Minister asked you for a paper, for a study on how Tripura had handled the situation. The present Prime Minister. Sir, yes. Yeah. Present Prime Minister, Mr. Yeah, Modi. Yeah, yeah. And you wrote one for him. I mean, yes, your your I, government sent one yeah, for him. Yes, I have sent. I because have sent. they want that to be a model for other states. I do not know. He asked me that I have actually sent a small note uh, of our experience. Right. So, after that actually, we started uh, uh, our political and ideological campaign. The extremist outfits, they raise some political questions, they raise some ideological questions, until and unless answering all these things, they cannot be fought back. That is what we have done. Second most important thing, uh, developmental activities. They used to say, they, where we are the tribals, so no road, no school, no hospital, no drinking right. water, nothing is there, nothing no is irrigation. There. So what's the use of keeping ourselves with India? Let us live India. Uh, their main slogan was independent Tripura. Right. That is a secessionist slogan. Right. Uh, not terrorist alone, it is a secessionist yes, slogan. Yes. So, in this situation, we, have, we had undertaken development. I mean, to that extent, they were totally different from Maoist and Chhattisgarh. Yeah, yeah, totally different. Yeah. Totally different. So, sir, when did you come to the conclusion that you. Now I can withdraw Armed Forces Special uh, Powers Act. With these activities, we have approached them. Right. The extremists, we have approached them. Please come to dialogue. You right. talk to us. If you don't like to talk to us, you can talk to the government of India. We shall not oppose to that. Rather, we shall try our level best to make government of India convinced to talk to you. And you did not get the state government indulging in dirty tricks with them? No. A as I am afraid some of your neighboring state governments do. That I don't like to pass any comment. But one thing I must tell you very, very clearly that if government involves with these extremist activities uh, uh, covertly or overtly, then how this problem can be solved? Sorry, this yes. cannot be solved.